This is a very welcoming industry. There's so many women. Um, it's it's a it's an industry of of care, right? The the art of hospitality is the the art of welcoming, you know. And I think a lot of time we think about um, just service, and it's not. It's welcoming when you when you welcome somebody at home to your home or to the hotel. You're you know that is what hospitality is. I think um, you know for women this is an amazing organization. It's about people. It's caring. Um, there, there's an art and a science, but by the way, just with, you know, just any job, it's very hard when you're a mom, it's very hard when you're a woman. Uh, so you got to make sure that whatever field you go into, um, you go into it eyes wide open. And, you know, I know uh, women work exceptionally hard, but it is not easy to balance going back to this work-life balance, this blend. It's a lot of responsibility in your shoulders. I think for me, my aha moment uh, happened when I became a mom. I was 39 and I got to experience the greatest power that we have as women, which is the ability to bring a life to this world. And I had never realized how strong I was. Physically, emotionally, uh, mentally, it is so much work. And so, you know, Every time we talked about even maternity leave at work, and sadly, it's um, it's uh, the way it's it's ca um, categorized. Even my insurance is your 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 handicap. It's a disability for for insurance purposes, right? But in reality, this is the biggest superpower we have as women. It's the biggest superpower. It's not a disability. It's not a handicap. It's the biggest superpower. And it gives you a different perspective. That's why we can be great leaders. We can feel for others. Okay. We we're very good at adapting. You're good at bringing teams together, at bringing differences of opinion. By the way, the world is complicated right now. You know, there's a lot of, of, of information, negative news, uh, noise, so on and so forth. And so you need somebody to sort through that. Uh, get people to work together. You need to inspire others. That's your job. As a, as a leader, you're the orchestra director and you got to make sure that everything sounds in harmony. I feel like women were very good at doing that. And, um, you know, I, I like to say this. I, I learned a very important lesson uh, from a student at the hotel school, The Hague. Uh, this was, yeah, about two months ago, maybe three months ago. And he said to me, you know, the, the leader of the future needs to have three things. It's IQ, okay, EQ, and AQ. And AQ being adaptability. You you have to be able to adapt. You have to, you know, be able to work in, in, uh, and live in a world that's constantly changing. And I feel like us women, we can do that very well. It's in our DNA. It's embedded in our instincts. And so for anybody wanting to be a leader out there, you got this. It's in you. Um, the problem is a lot of us don't discover it until we become mom and, and moms, uh, you know, and, and, and we feed it. So there you go. That's my mom's speech.